Oh boy, 2011. So, going from the previous year into this one, uploads became a lot more sporadic during this year, but there was still a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, quite in my eyes, a, a lot of activity and, you know, a fair amount of good stuff. There was also a fair amount of bad stuff, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, the first notable thing that came up was I remember during a during a discussion of some kind, um, the guys were talking about brawl hacks and just like a, basically just talking about you know new way, new ways to play the game or break the game or you know you know trying out trying out new new ways for us to play and uh, they spoke to, they spoke they were talking to me a little bit about about this little thing called a uh, brawl plus which I did not get to play but I heard but I heard many stories about it I guess I guess at first it was started it started out as like a way to um, as as an attempt to sort of rebalance the game and make it more you know a little bit more like the older ones and um and the guys were telling me yeah it's it's it wasn't that great <laughs> uh but then somewhere later later down um brawl minus came out and we played that we put we all played that one together and that was quite honestly some of the most fun i've ever had with like a fan project of, of it because in the because in this hack every character is broken in his or her own unique ways and in that sense, it made the game more balanced and just really crazy and fun. But we really, really enjoyed it. Hence the couple of videos that we made on it. And don't worry, session four will happen some way, somehow. It might take a long time for us to get there because of circumstances. But it is something that I have on my list, and I will make it happen somehow. So that kind of came and went. So what was after that? Uh, playthroughs. Yeah. I started up Sonic Adventure, and you know, similar to Second Opinion, I, you know, had most, if not all, of it recorded way ahead of time. But then, but then I tried, but then I wanted to be fancy and do the director style commentary, and it, it was that was that was that was a big flop in my opinion. Like I should have just uploaded the footage as it was. But you know, I got it done eventually. But um, but for a time, there was that. There was definitely that long gap between the end of the one story and then going into the next one after my hiatus had ended. So, I don't know. I feel like it just wasn't that could that could have been handled a little better. But <laughs> you know, you learn learn from those mistakes, and it's and it's okay. the The main event though that was going on was I well actually no before I before I get into that I, I was also continuing boss battles for a little while. I started I started with the first Darton and Lico, and then I I. Th I but then I ended up having to take a break because of exams, and then I just never got back to it because uh, because that because that summer was really really crazy with um, you know you know with like the online tournaments and plus I was playing Radiant Dawn in my spare time, um, and that would eventually lead way to the old recorded playthrough. And I say old because I mentioned at the end of Path of Radiance that I want to go back and you know redo this game um, for like a for like a new updated playthrough and. Um, that is definitely that is definitely one of the things on my to-do list here for the channel, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, with this game, it was it was interesting because, like, I mean, I, f I feel like I I feel like I knew a pretty decent amount, but I didn't really express that knowledge in a very in a very good way. Like, like I was I mean I was still you know I was still like you know young and inexperienced, I guess you could say. And it was it was mainly, it was mostly just you know, like my like my like my overall stance and opinions on stuff weren't quite fully developed, but but you know but the passion was there, and I figured I, I I just assumed that was enough. And in my in my opinion, going back on it now, it wasn't it just it just wasn't that you know <laughs> wasn't quite what it could have been. So it is what it is. I'll keep the I'll keep, I'm going to keep the old videos up just for comparison's sake, so we can like you know go back and go back you know compare compare that to the new one whenever i start the new one and i think it'll be a lot of fun then speaking of old from uh, comparing old to new i started under the knife too and then again that kind of that kind of took a little you know took a little sidetrack road uh blah because of uh because because of hiatus uh when i started when i started i was just going i was just finishing up high school going into college and that ate up all my free time like <laughs> I mean, I definitely don't regret 
you know, the extra schooling, but because because there was a there was so much there that I, um, so much more that I th that I learned there that I could not have picked up anywhere else. But you know, making more sacrifices along that way to get to that point, um, it definitely hurt. But whatever, life happens. You just got to deal with it. And uh, yeah, the other thing. The other big thing that happened was um, was a uh, collaboration channel that I was offered a that I was after that I was offered a part in, and to put it as bluntly as possible, this was probably one of the worst decisions I've ever made in my entire life. But but you know, it's a, it was a new experience. I figured it was a, I figured it was a good opportunity. So so I was talking to Ace about it, and um and I figured okay, why not? I'll you know I'll give it a shot. And it started off it started off kind of a uh, you know kind of kind of, you know, small and local. I mean, there were only a couple of us and then a few more people joined. And we had some really we had some good ideas going in going into that going into that channel for, you know, videos and miscellaneous projects and whatnot and really just to, you know, just to just to goof off and shoot the shit and that kind of thing. But um it's it should come to no surprise that I had I had some uh, creative differences with some of the guys there. We didn't really get along on a on a on a list of things and I ended up leaving the group one day and I was very uh, sad as I am to admit I was not very professional about it like I definitely could, I definitely could have handled myself a little bit better and it's no and it's uh and I think and I think a, a big part of that is my anger issues like I kind of I kind of I do kind of just ten, have, a, have a tendency to just kind of you know lash out whenever I really should not be doing that um, like once I, I, I mean, it's like, I mean, I can, I mean, most, most of the time, most of the time, if something annoys me, you know, I might get annoyed or irritated, but not often do I get angry, you know, just, just, just flat out, like, you know, yelling and stuff like that. But this happened a lot during my time with the group and, you know, I was, I was really stressed out and it wasn't really fair for the other guys to go through, to go through that. And so I decided enough was enough. I wanted, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't want them to go through that anymore, and I just, I just, you know, made made a post in their in the chat room saying, "Hey, um, I'm out of here," <laughs> and that was the end of that. And I really, I don't know. I, I look back at it now, and it's like, what could I? I, I don't know what I could have done differently. Like I could have done a lot of other things differently, but you know, it was a, it was a very spur of the moment decision, and. Uh, but you know we're but you know I think I, everyone, everyone's okay. They're I mean they're all they they really all are all decent guys. Um, and I definitely rec and I'll put a link to the I'll put a link to the channel in the description if you want to check out the old stuff. They, I don't think they do I don't think they do videos anymore. But um, the the little that we did do was was fun. It was genuinely fun. I actually enjoyed uh, the couple of videos that we that I that I was involved in. Um, and they and like I said there there were some cool ideas. But like I said oh you know. Because of because of the uh, you know the arguments that I had with some some of those guys and and you know other personal stuff that happened in, in between all of it um, you know motivation was low there wasn't really a whole lot of um, synergy and all and, and all that but you know again another life another important life lesson we just gotta just gotta deal the cards that we are given and um, you know everything like that but. But you know, I, I I'm trying to I'm trying to own up to my mistakes and and, and and all that. But I gotta do it, you know, my way, and whatnot. So it's you know little, little by little by little it is it is getting a little better as a you know between between like I said you know you know anger and autism and uh, and just you know trying to trying to figure out who I am and how I operate and and everything. That's just that's just a that's just a, that was just that was just a big part of you know going you know as I was getting into my adult years like I like I was still trying to really 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 figure that out and I'll be honest even after even even after the fact like I still haven't quite figured it out but but I'm getting there that's that's all I really can do so during this hiatus of mine what did I do during the time when I wasn't making videos or yelling at people well I uh let's see oh yeah um, for for a little bit, there was like there was kind of a phase where on on the PlayStation consoles, I 
I was like really, really, really into doing like, you know, challenges, achievements, trophies, whatever you want to call them. Uh, because, well, that's kind of what they were. They were challenges. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to, you know, put my, really put my skills to the test, see if I could do it. And yeah, if you go, like, like some, some of the things I did on there were, were definitely questionable. Like, like there, there were some, there were some decisions that didn't, um, that, that normally would not mesh with me as a, as a gamer back then. But, but now, but now as, but, but, you know, now as I'm older, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I could, I could probably, you know, you know, sacrifice a little bit of time to, you know, do this task or, you know, grind this out or, uh, whatever. But, but yeah, if you, if you just go, if you go on my PSN profile, you can see, you, you can see like just the amount of insane stuff that I, that, that I did. I have a pretty good, pretty, pretty good record on there. It's not, it's not like, you know, you know, super high, you know, echelon of, <laughs> of, uh, of like, you know, of, you know, achievement hunting or, or, or whatever, but I do, but I do, but I, th but I feel like I did you know, and pretty well. Like, I mean, I, I mean, I have a, I have a friend that I, that, you know, back when we were super serious about it, we would, you know, we would, we would like, you know, you know, comparing stuff all the time. And he would, and he would just, he would, I mean, he would just, uh, he would, he would just comment every once in a while saying like, you know, wow, you really did that. <laughs> it was, it was pretty funny. Um, yeah. So, so during all this, um, I also, um, took another step forward in, you know, you know, coming out my shell and just trying new things with my friends. And, uh, one of those was attending conventions and stuff. So, uh, through, I mean, through this, we would like, you know, attend, you know, we, we would, you know, see the sites, you know, you know, take pictures, meet some people and, um, whether, whether, whether it was like a celebrity or, you know, just, or just, you know, hang out with friends, that kind of thing. It was, it was pretty cool. Just, just a, just a chance to like, you know, you know, get out and see, see us for who we really are. And uh, and whatnot when we're not behind when we're like not behind the monitor and you know, you know corrupted with power and that kind of crap. So, so you know that was that was fun. It, it really was. And I'll show you this one picture here um, of a year that I that I went dressed up as Junpei from Nine Hours Nine Hours uh, Nine Hours Nine Persons Nine Doors. Sorry, I botched up the title. Um, and it, was, it just so happened that we that and when I say we, I, I was with I was with GBG in Osaka at the time, and we bumped into a clover. And we reenacted the axe ending from from that from that game, and it was definitely the best thing I could I think I experienced at a convention. Besides, you know, meeting some of my favorite celebrities and all that crap. So, um, yeah, so that was so that was a lot of fun. We took a you know we took a lot, took lots of pictures and you know other stuff along the way. And the other thing uh, through throughout conventions and even just outside of them. In my own time, I went to some tournaments, uh, or specifically, yeah, video game tournaments. Uh, the very first one I attended was actually was actually during the launch of Pokemon Black and White. Um, there was a Battle Revolution tournament at at my local shopping mall, and um, like I, like I remember building building an entirely new team just for that, and it was a lot of fun. Like you know, again. And again, like you know, meeting people, seeing their seeing their battle strategies and uh, stuff like that. I had a really good rhythm going in the first the first round that that I was in, um, but I I met, I let up for just the tiniest bit and it ended up losing because of it. Like I had like I brought the battle immediately, like very quickly from you know six my side to two their side, and then with their remaining two, they swept my team and <laughs> yeah, that kind of that kind of just that kind of just happened, and that was a that was a very important. Um, lesson for me as far as like you know as far as that goes and really it's just it's just like that with any with any competitive game when you have the advantage you got to keep on it don't let them get started and and all that noise um so so as i was going out of that pokemon phase i went back to smash brothers for a little bit um like i think the very first smash 4 tournament that i attended was um uh, when was just during it was during my during my last year of college, when things were slowing down, and there wasn't, and I was, I was only studying part time as opposed to full time, and uh, I had, a, I had a pretty good going, I had a pretty good going at the beginning, like during the first couple that I attended, and then, you know, with all the different patches the game got, and um, the way, the way, the way the game had just, you know, shifted from from that, it felt like, it felt like, if it, it felt, it felt like with every patch in Smash Four, I kind of had to just relearn the game all over again and it was very very stressful and i just 
I don't know, like before, I, like before I knew it, my love for the game had pretty much diminished at that point. So I wasn't doing, so I wasn't doing nearly as well. I mean, I'd still go just for, just to you know support, you know support the scene and you know check out, and you know, check out how other people were doing and and all that. But but yeah, eventually got to a point where it wasn't where it was it wasn't fun for me anymore, and I just you know hung up my controller until Ultimate came out. Um, I did a couple more tournaments for that, but then I had to stop doing that because I was busy with work, and then uh, the world changed. <laughs> So I wasn't so then I didn't do turn so then I hadn't done uh, hadn't done any tournaments uh, for uh, for that game or for other fighting games for that matter just because I you know was you know I wasn't really motivated I hadn't I hadn't had the um you know the the right opportunities to like you know really to like really train and appreciate the games but I'm happy to announce though that this May for Combo Breaker I will be attending that for uh, to play some King of Fighters so. That should be a lot of fun. I've been playing. I've been playing a little bit of the game here and there, in my in my spare time. You know, trying uh, trying things out, and uh, I've had some I've had some help along the way to to you know help prepare for that. And yeah, I think it's going to be a fun time for sure. And uh, what kind of jobs did I work during uh, during during hiatus, or I guess even during now? Um, it was mostly just it was mostly just odd jobs, just trying to get just trying to get my face out there and. You know, um, you know, uh, you know. Basically, basically, just building, building, building on my portfolio, building on my portfolio, and and whatnot. It wasn't, it wasn't anything like you know, anything huge or grand. Like I, like the very first thing I did was an inter, was an internship at a, at the library for uh, for a couple weeks, and then I, you know, got my first job in customer service for a little bit, and then I, uh, then I had another job for about a year and then that closed and now I am doing uh doing a full-time help for for this one establishment and it's been it's been going well so far yeah it took it it was definitely definitely like a roller coaster for sure but it's been everything's gonna be fine yeah yeah I think so you don't have to worry about so you don't have to worry about my financial well-being or any or any of that but you know it's just yeah like during during the time where I wasn't making videos like I had a, I had a lot, I had a lot more to just sort, you know, sort of, you know, sit down and reflect and find out what exactly do I want to do, and it's still one, it's still one of those life questions that I never really, never really got the, the the fine like the final answer to, but but you know, it's as long as as long as I have, as long as I can keep my eyes open. And just you know, stay observant. Not just and and like I said, you know, learn learn not just from my mistakes, but also from the mistakes of others. Then I think I, then I think it'll be okay. I also want to give a couple of a couple of mentions and shout outs because I because compl I completely I completely uh, skimmed over this during my template. Um, in my tournament days, I um uh, I actually I actually helped out volunteer work with a uh with a guy named uh Rylam or Eric uh, as as I as I know him. Uh, during 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 his time over here as a as a as a tournament organizer, he still does he still does organizing, but I guess mostly he does uh, streaming nowadays. But I'll put a link to his channel in the description so you can check so you can check him out. He's a pr he's a pretty cool guy. Um, and then during conventions, I got to meet one of one of GBG's friends, uh, Quasar Sudo. Uh, he's an, he's another uh, you know small time uh, variety gamer, but he also does a lot of uh, you know a lot a lot of other like uh, you know going up you know going out going out doing stuff and just a, he's just a very a very active guy and um you know really you know really really fun to hang out with and um we even played a little bit of blaze blue in our spare time so he's so so he's you know he's fun so check him out too and then also during uh we actually we actually met well we first met in person during a convention and then we had spoken uh, through other various connections on the, on the internet yoshi man uh, he he helped me prepare for like you know for like you know smash stuff and really he's just like a really like really you know really you know really fun and cool gamer he does a lot of art stuff too uh you know dr you know drawings and whatnot so his so his his stuff will be down there too so you can check him out and everything like that Whew, man i'm all talked out